Today I'll be doing a little video showing you the new trekking poles that Peaks Equipment has out. I've ran the Backcountry Elite model from them for a couple years now and they just barely dropped a new Elite trekking pole so I'll show you what you can expect uh, when you order one of these guys. First thing out of the box you can expect is a little carrying pack. I don't use mine ever but I'm sure some of you can find a scenario where you would use one. And this is a look at the new trekking pole there. Cork handle as opposed to the foam handle. Really that's the only difference in them is this part of the handle is cork. But I'll show you kind of what you can expect anyways when you first open a package. So when you break into your trekking pole couple pieces that you're gonna get are the baskets this is for when you're running trekking poles in snow you're not gonna get them stabbing through and going all the way down to the ground so you're gonna float a little bit better with these so right now this time of year store them somewhere safe where you're not gonna lose them I usually run these it's just a smaller basket I usually run them uh, most of the year but they are not necessary uh, if you don't want to run them unsnap them from these little clips and here's a look at the cork handle so I actually love running cork I had no issues with the foam as you can see I've I've used these all spring and uh, really haven't had any wear on them but I am a cork fan I've just always enjoyed the feel and texture of a cork handle um, the grip whatnot comparing the two trekking poles I mean really there's no difference the weight is the exact same you're gonna have a nice lightweight trekking pole in the handle you're still gonna have this lower grip of foam which I do enjoy using that because uh, when you get in those steeper hillsides sometimes you need to grip down and uh, use a lower part of the trekking pole without having to adjust the the various lengths you could just hurry do a quick grab uh, while getting through some of that terrain and then move back up to your normal grip. The design of these trekking poles is super strong and durable. Um, I don't have any problems with bending or collapsing. Uh, a lot of my trekking poles in the past, they bend down here on the aluminum. I've yet to have that happen. Uh, so a very strong build. So how they are is the top middle are carbon and then the bottom is aluminum. I found I like that. I feel like the bottom when they're carbon they have a chance of cracking or breaking and uh, the aluminum used is super durable and strong. There's quite a bit of adjustment length. So for whatever height you are, I typically am 5'9". I run mine at 115 on the top and 105 on the bottom. And that gives me a good height for most situations. Obviously sometimes going downhill, you have to lengthen uh, a little bit or uh, shorten if you're going uphill, but 105 and 115 to 120 for me is a good height uh, right there around belly button hip uh, Hip belt on the backpack. Uh, that's a good Good position for me for all-around hiking because most of the stuff I do is going uphill Downhill side hill in this mountain country. There's a lot of topography so I like to just find a happy medium and keep it there. There is a wrist strap option. All you have to do is pull on this extra slack and that tightens to your wrist. What that does is keeps the trekking pole attached to you. Sometimes you lose your grip. Trekking pole is not gonna fall over, fall to the ground. Uh, being honest, I've found it's pretty comfortable just to grab it because sometimes it's easier for me on these steep hillsides to just chuck the trekking pole rather than letting the trekking pole get caught and my arm get ripped backwards as I'm falling downhill. Uh, so sometimes I don't even hike with my wrist in there just to be able to uh, drop the trekking pole if I need to. But if you're gonna be on a trail or have a heavy pack and you're just trekking along, it's pretty nice to be able to lock your wrist in like that. One other benefit to locking your wrist in is as you're going uphill, you can kind of use that as leverage with your body weight pulling down on the trekking pole. You can kind of use that as leverage when you're climbing or if you're just resting, sometimes it is nice to kind of just take your hand off the trekking pole and kind of let the weight sit in your wrist right there. So that is an option that you can run. 
Again, they're very lightweight trekking poles. Awesome design, they've been very durable. I've yet to break one. For tightening purposes, all it is is a plastic clip to prevent loosening or any movement once you found your desired location. You just twist this lever to the right to increase the tension and keep that from moving at all. If it is too tight, you can of course loosen it. I do like this design. I've had issues in the past with trekking poles as they get older, starting to collapse. I have yet to have that happen with these trekking poles, so their locking mechanism is very strong. So just a quick video, kind of to show you what Peaks has to offer. The backcountry elites with the cork handle, with the all foam handle. You have another that does not have the bottom piece here and a different style of locking. Uh, I believe it's aluminum instead of plastic. And then you have the fully collapsible ones that can come apart and break down just a little bit tighter than these. The Backcountry Elites with the cork handle, I already know is gonna be my favorite. I haven't put miles on this, but I like a cork handle and I've always ran the Backcountry Elite model. So you could use code CHAG to save 10% across all Peaks website. High quality gear, love the brand, love the people behind it. As you've seen in a lot of my videos, I use the heck out of their gear. So just a look at the Backcountry Elite trekking poles. Summer scouting's here, a lot of high country stuff. So if you're like me, you're gonna be putting a lot of miles in scouting. Go pick up a pair. Again, Code Chag will save you 10%. And I suggest checking out the rest of their website because they have a bunch of solid gear that is released this year.